In life, she was a tormented and troubled teenager, but in death, she has galvanized a nation. Today, in cities and towns across the country, hundreds of thousands of people stood up and spoke out against bullying. It was a tribute to Amanda Todd. The BC teenager killed herself last week after years of online abuse. The CBC's Chris Brown is at a vigil tonight in Surrey, BC. Chris? Well, uh, Wendy, I'm in Holland Park, uh, right in the middle of Surrey, B.C., where hundreds of people have just started to arrive, many of them dressed in pink, uh, thinking about Amanda Todd. It was nine nights ago uh, that she committed suicide, and the video that she made before that has had a tremendous impact. It's obviously touched a great many people, and this uh, vigil here tonight is just one of dozens that we've seen across Canada today and also around the world. Tonight, we are paying tribute to Amanda. In Nova Scotia, they brought candles and a promise that Amanda Todd's experience of being stalked, bullied and driven to suicide would be a catalyst for change. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people, 98% of the people have been somehow touched by bullying, either, you know, the bully or the bully E, you know. Um, you know, it's got to stop. Similar thoughts in Manitoba tonight too. I watched the YouTube video and I cried my eyes out because I just I felt like no one should feel that alone. A Facebook campaign by a Surrey mother prompted vigils abroad as well in India, Spain and the United States. Let's use the same social media that took a life of this beautiful young girl to save lives, to maybe make a change, to let's start a change. Amanda Todd's video continues to haunt the many millions by now who've seen it. The 15-year-old may have put it up before she died as a cry for help, but in her death, it's become an incredibly powerful testimonial to the hurt teens can cause each other and to the dangers of predators on the internet. And out of it, there's been a perhaps unprecedented collective desire to do some good. At 11 a.m. today, more than 200,000 students in Toronto stopped what they were doing for a moment of silence. It was so painful for me. Some of my closest friends have tried to commit suicide. And it's just being there and trying to help them and stuff through things like that. And it's made me revisit that. And at my old schools, I was bullied for 10 years straight. And yet, at this class in Etobicoke, there was also a realization that this moment of resolution to act could just as quickly pass. I think that this has to be an issue that is consistently discussed and consistently something that we work at ending. There are police uh, here tonight, Wendy, in part to deliver a strong message about bullying, but there is no update, we're told, on the investigation into Amanda Todd's tormentors. Uh, the name of one man was released publicly on the Internet last week, but police later said that that information was, in their words, uh, unfounded. And for all of the memorials that we've seen here today, this will not be the last one. Amanda Todd's family says they're planning at least one more uh, for her next month close to her birthday. Wendy. Thanks so much, Chris. Chris Brown tonight.